if ever there was a case suitable, you know our office does not request this on a regular basis, that a person be denied bail, this is the case that's appropriate for that. After spending the night in a KPD cell block and wearing the clothes she was arrested in yesterday, 46-year-old Lori Vallow stood in silence as Judge Kathleen Watanabe read the list of charges, which include two felony counts of desertion and non-support of dependent children, as well as resisting or obstructing officers. Vallow's kids, 17-year-old Tylee Ryan and 7-year-old Joshua J.J. Vallow, mysteriously disappeared back in September. Her attorney, Dan Hempy, requested that the judge reduce her bail to $10,000, arguing that Valo has a home on Kauai, is not a flight risk and not a danger to the public. There's no life in prison or death penalty in this case, so she has a right to bail. He also wanted cameras banned from the courtroom because of heavy media coverage. It seems like it was maybe a made-for-media event at taxpayer expense. Can't you sell, tell us something about the children's welfare and if they're okay and if they're still alive? Vallow's new husband, Chad Daybell, showed up to the hearing to support his wife and ignored questions from the media. The couple has been living on Kauai since early December. Daybell has not been arrested. We have not received any order that Chad Daybell uh, is part of the investigation or at this time uh, necessarily under arrest. We have no local charges or concerns that there's criminal activity that's occurred here on, in Hawaii or on Kauai. The case has caused quite the commotion in this close-knit community, drawing supporters of the missing kids. 17-year-old Layla Waldman says she attended Kapa'a High School with Tylee Ryan when Tylee lived on Kauai. I felt really sad because at 17 years old, you have your whole life ahead of you. Waldman's mother says she can't imagine what she would do if her children were missing. I would be crying all day. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, and I would just be devastated and I would be doing everything I possibly could to find my kids.